I was signing, the day I was signing in Bursa Sport, we, we, I had a wobble up. I had a wobble up. And I'd say to Dave, look, I, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Like, like they can't love that place, you know. I absolutely love it. And it's, any you ask any player, you see all these legends are coming back next Sunday. Your, your, all the guys that have represented this football club over the years, like, it, for me, it leaves a mark on you. You know, it really does. It's a fantastic place to be, a special, special club. That's why your Moses, your Newman's, your De Boers, anytime they come back, like they always talk fondly about their time at the club. Even if it's a year or two years or five years, they always talk really, really fondly about the time at the club and how the how the fans welcomed them and made them feel like they absolutely adored them. You know, so it's a special place. So I obviously fast forward a few months after it was what happened. And that actually every single time a transfer window came around there would have been dialogue between me and Super Ali. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether I thought it was the right thing to do at that time or no time, it just, I never quite got there until obviously 2014. And it's interesting what you said, Scotty Kenny. It's interesting, you know, you said there that, you know, you left in the January. You know, it was 13 months later the club was in, administ- in administration. Now, you might well be right that that was the, the start of it that they felt that they couldn't be offering the same kind of contracts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when you did finally come back, did it feel? And I don't. I'm not talking about the same club arguments here, but did it feel like the same place when you finally went back, or had everything changed? No, no. And listen, it wasn't. It wasn't the the, the same place. It didn't feel. It was. It was the same place, the same building, and a lot of the same people there. But it was. It was a different a different vibe in relation to obviously what had been created there because if I remember when I was speaking to I was actually speaking to Ali at the start of that, of that season and he was thinking right I think we might go down to the championship or we don't really know or what's going to be happening and and then when the club got eventually the decision came through if I'm right there was only like a matter of weeks that, that, that Ali had to actually go and go and sign days. No, or days actually like you say so there was only like a really short window where he could actually go and put a squad together and, and listen it, the team done the job that it needed to be done the first couple of seasons uh, obviously the championship season never but there was a complete obviously it's, it's, it's a squad that had been kind of thrown together and it maybe sounds simple that right okay well we'll just go and sign the best player for Motherwell and the best player for Dundee United or the best player for Hearts or Hibs or St Johnston like that doesn't create that's not what our Rangers teams have been built on you know maybe over time they've been built up all, yeah. like, all thrown together firstly it's trying to get the right blended players in there it's then the bit, for me the hardest thing was the was to get that that mindset back <laughs> 